Hi everyone, welcome to my fourth video blog on my America's Violinist YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to talk about how I chose instruments for my kids and how I get them to practice. Um, kind of what the day looks like in our, in our, in our world. Um, so my children, my first was born was Lara and when she was three I started her on Suzuki violin because that's what I did when I was four and I'm Suzuki certified so I kind of know the Suzuki approach and um, I wanted to have a little violinist in my life because they're so cute. So I started Lara on the violin and she's really talented at it. She really took to it. When Hannah came along 20 months later, well Lara was three, but Hannah was 20 months behind Lara, um, I didn't want to have two competing violinists because they're so close in age and Lara's kind of more aggressive and Hannah's just a sweeter personality and so I didn't want them battling on the same instrument even though it would have been easier with the same teacher and the same schedule. Um, so I started Hannah on piano because I knew that piano goes beautifully with violin and I love the piano as well. So I started Hannah on the piano when she was four because they don't make mini pianos. So three is a little young for piano but four she was able to kind of manage and I practiced with both of them. And that was tricky finding the time but I did and then I my next child is Sarah and when she turned three I started her on the cello because cello is a beautiful instrument as well and it goes along really well with violin and piano so I thought we could they could play piano trios together and that'd be cute and so I did Suzuki cello with Sarah and so I was practicing with all three of them at the time and then Matthew came along and I thought well I should have a violist to go with my violinist, my pianist, my cellist, they can do piano quartets and so I started Matthew on the violin and he fought and he fought and he fought and he fought and all my kids fought none of them were like oh please let me practice because it's hard work but he fought harder than any of the kids and he I gave up a couple times and I'd start over again and I just like did not know what to do with this kid. And one day he just threw it on the violin and he said, I am a pianoist. I'm like, okay, he's not a violinist who's going to move to viola. Because I started him on, I was going to do violin and then viola. So I was like, okay, we'll do piano. But then I was like, we can't really have two pianos on stage very easily. And a friend of ours was doing Suzuki guitar with her child and I thought, the guitar sounds like a harp, and I know harp sounds great with strings, and I bet guitar does too. So I started him on Suzuki guitar when he was four, and he just took to it. He just never fought it. He loved it, and he's just developed so well as, as have the other children. And so that's kind of how we chose their instruments. As far, and I'm so grateful, I'm so, and I'm grateful Matthew fought. So sometimes if kids fight and fight and fight and fight, maybe it's the wrong instrument. Um, I mean, they're going to fight a little. I mean, every kid, it's just like when, they, when they, you need, they need to take a bath. Just because they're fighting a bath doesn't mean they don't have to take a bath. They still have to brush their teeth and take a bath, even though they don't maybe enjoy it. doesn't matter. Do it. Um, same with like eating vegetables. It's just part of the day. It's, they kind of just need to become resigned to their fate that they're going to practice that day. So as far as getting the practicing done, they know it has to be done. It has to be done first before they can play. I try to forego the fun things until the work is done. So in our family, my dad actually, his motto is, well, one of his mottos is work first, play later. And my siblings used to joke that it was really work first, play never. <laughs> but it is work first, play later. If my kids want to have a play date, they have to get their practicing done first. And, um, and also just rewards for when it's done. Every kid is different and needs a different kind of reward system, but as long as they know that they're resigned to their fate, it's going to happen. They have to do it before they can do anything fun. And they need, my kids have to do it before they do their homework. Because if you do homework first, you can make homework last hours and hours and hours. So if you start with your homework first, you can kind of mess around and take all day with it and then not have enough time to practice. But if you practice first, you can get your homework done faster. And homework is less work. Homework isn't as physically, emotionally, mentally draining as practicing. And so get that done at first. So that's how I get my kids to practice. I just make them do it. And they just have to get it done or they don't go to bed. <laughs> so be a mean mom like me. And then on Sundays we don't practice. And they love it. They love the Sabbath day. So let them have one day off a week. And that'll rejuvenate them to start again hard on Monday. So that's how I make my kids practice. That's how I chose their instruments. And 
I'm really grateful that we have music in our family's life. It's really a beautiful thing. So I'm grateful for music and grateful that they're learning to work hard and apply themselves and grateful that we have that to, to do together. So thanks for tuning in. It's been so great talking to you. I think next blog, I think I'll talk about how I found my violin. So please tune in and check out my social media links below. Thanks.